Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family. I hope you are all well and um, all the kids are settling back in at school really well. I've just got Nathan here at the moment, so you probably see him or see or hear him wandering around. All the others are all at school and college, so that's all good. Uh, been to Food Warehouse. I have to get this right because I keep getting farm foods and food warehouse round the wrong way. Been to Food Warehouse and I've got a little Tweety Pie. It won't <laughs> go down. Go down. Um, yeah, so I've been to the Food Warehouse to stock up on some frozen items that Nathan is going mad on at the moment. And um, his chocolate filled pancakes ready for when he goes back to nursery, I can send a couple of packets with him. And while I was there, picked up a few other deals, a few little extras for the kiddies and all that lot. And I managed to end up spending £115.94 in the food warehouse. But I don't think that's too bad. I mean, I've managed to get the deals, like three for five pounds, five for five pounds, and then, um, Three for ten pounds. There we go. I have to think then. <laughs> and then obviously I've got some pot noodles and all that that the kids have all run out of. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we got. And um, I hope you enjoy. So here we are, guys. This is the frozen that we've got, and then this is what else I bought. So I'll start over here. And chance our Nathan will probably come and find me again in a minute because he has seen the sp Space Raiders and has already started attacking them. So he's um, loving them. But these were on the three for three pounds deal. They're the chocolate filled croissants. But if you order them online, it's five for five pounds. But I'm not complaining. I just picked up three of them. And these are just the chocolate filled ones. You can get chocolate and cream filled ones, but the kids prefer these. They're just going to go in the breakfast tray, ready for the kids to grab on the way to school with a smoothie or something. Shane, uh, Nathan's usual pancakes or chocolate filled crepes. Two or three of these packets are going to go to nursery with him for them to stagger between now and the October half term. And then the rest will be here for when he wants them. I think I picked up, because these were three for three pounds as well. I think I picked up three, six, nine packets there. The Space Raiders, everyone loves them. So I just grabbed some of them for the kids to all have. And Stevie will probably take a packet of them and leave them in his car so that he can have some before they all get taken. I got two packets of these Poptastic potato chips. These are the cheese and onion, I think. Oh, sour cream and onion. There's one packet. There's another packet. I thought these would be nice for the kids to have as a nice little treat on the first couple of weeks back at school. Steve picked up these Nescafe sachets, latte and caramel latte. They'll be going to work with him. Nathan wanted a pot of Pringles. He was going ballistic when he saw them, so he just picked him up a box of the Texas barbecue. Some Toastum Pop-Tarts. This is the small, frosted small flavour. These are to go in the breakfast basket as well. Um, if any of you guys are interested in the breakfast basket, what I've set up. Bye bye. One minute. Eat your popcorn chicken. Bye bye. Eat your popcorn chicken, then you can have some more Space Raiders. Um, yeah, I've set up like a basket with all convenience food for the first couple of weeks, just so that the kids can grab and go um, out the door until we get into the swing and things if that makes sense and they are loving these pop tart things a nice treat for when they come home we got these belgium chocolate brownies granted they are not as good as what my bestie makes but these are still these are a close close good one the close good one they're a close likeness close yumminess they'll do until i can get my friend to make custom brownies a tray of 30 mixed sized eggs, ready for Shane to have hard boiled eggs next week. My usual space flying saucers addiction that I love. I have a bag of these a night in bed. I don't know how many I grabbed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packets, I think, there. Um, so they're just going to go in the cupboard and they'll last me a couple of weeks. One, oh, you got a banana. 
you helped yourself to a banana, ain't you clever? Um, the pot noodles were 69p, so I grabbed four um, chicken curry, or original curry, and then I got a box of the 12, a box of 12 chicken and mushroom pot noodles, because we've got some beef ones left, but there was no chicken and mushroom, and I went to have one the other day, and they were all gone. So I'm like, right, I'll just grab a box. There's 69p. The colder weather's coming. I've now got Chloe home three days a week in between college. Shane, one afternoon a week. And Hayley now will be coming home at lunchtime on a Friday now that she's at secondary school. So um, I'll be providing lunches a lot more at home rather than at school. A nice treat that I'm going to pull out for tonight's dinner is this Mars chocolate and caramel brownie looks yummy so the kids will enjoy that and then some convenience foods for a couple of weeks for pat lunches and steve's lunches three steak slices for steve these were three four five pounds in this deal so i've got three of the steak and then two of the beef pasties they are for shane they'll go in his pat lunches um rather than him having to make sandwiches and stuff like that these are for Chloe for her medication that she has at night time. She'll crumble her medication into them and then it's easier for her to take it. There was two more, but she's already attacked them. <laughs> There's them. Um, then I got five of these Milky Bar milk slices. These are one of Nathan's safe foods again at the moment, like the chocolate filled crepes and popcorn chicken. These are one of his safe foods. They're chocolate milky bar cakes that go in the fridge. These are on offer, five for five pounds. Again, all the other supermarkets are like one pound thirty-five, one pound forty. Home bargains, they're one pound nine, which is the cheapest. But here again, they're a bit cheaper, but you have to buy five packets. But they will last Nathan a couple of weeks at least. I picked up everyone a chocolate uh, fridge chocolate milkshake so they can all have them later and then we are on to the frozen well that's frozen up there but we're on to the more frozen bits nathan is starting nursery and he doesn't eat bread products so i am going to have to send him with like chicken nuggets cocktail sausages sausage rolls and stuff like that so i've bought big bags of chicken breast dippers a big bag of chicken nuggets and then I can cook purple. them. Sorry? Purple. Purple? Purple. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> I'll cook these up a few each night and then I'll put them in his lunchbox. But he is well and truly on a popcorn chicken kick at the moment. Apple. Apple. Okay, you want an apple? His speech has come on leaps and bounds over the last few weeks. I cannot believe it. You guys might have heard it. Um... Yeah, so he's on a popcorn chicken kick at the moment. So again, I thought I'd get three of these bags. They were three for £10. And I can cook some of these up and put them in his lunch boxes. So we've got one, two, three. We've got three boxes of the profiteroles. They were three boxes for £6. Got them. I did balls up. I should have... <laughs> balls. balls. <laughs> I walked into that, aren't I? Sado. Um, I should have got three of these, but I only picked up two. It's because Nathan was causing mayhem in the supermarket. These are three for £10, but I stupidly only picked up two, so I've missed out on that deal. These are the battered chicken crispy balls, and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I will have to... I'm thinking of cooking them up like I've done before, and then toss them in barbecue sauce, and then serve them on rice. We all enjoyed that last time, so I might do that again with them to mix things up. And then again, for Nathan for nursery, I got him these um, mini sausage rolls rather than just buy the ones in the fridge. Works out a bit more convenient as well because it's three for five pounds. So I got two of the mini sausage rolls and you get 40 in there. And then I'm going to try him with the mini deep dish uh, a balls up again. I thought these were the plain cheese ones. He doesn't eat pepperoni. He'll spit them out and it'll put him off. So I'll give these to the kids and it looks like I'm going to have to do either an Iceland or a farm foods shop again in a couple of weeks. 
but they will go in the freezer for someone else. So um, <laughs> that is everything that I got from, I said farm foods, didn't I? The food warehouse. There we go. That is everything that I got. I'm going to get this lot put away. I'm going to, oh my God. He is eating popcorn chicken with an apple. He's taking a bite out of the apple and then um, eating a bit of popcorn chicken at the same time. So he's mixing his cuisines. It's quite funny. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to get this lot put in the freezer, this lot all put in the fridge. And um, I hope to see you again soon, guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up so it tells YouTube that you did enjoy this video, okay? One minute. One minute. Do you want to say bye to the viewers first? Say bye bye. You're going to say bye? No, okay. All right, take care, guys. Bye.